Software activation is the process by which software is securely enabled on a particular computer before it can be used. This process helps to ensure that vendors get paid for the software they produce and in return a customer has the assurance of knowing the vendor will be around to support them in the long run. The process starts when the customer buys the software. They'll get that software either on a CD or by download with a unique serial number that will allow them to activate it on their computer. The activation process starts after the user has installed your software and launches it for the first time. On first launch, they're going to see an activation dialog where they'll enter the unique serial number that you provided to them when they purchased the software. That serial number will then allow them to uniquely activate the software on their computer. Usually, software vendors require an internet connection on first launch to do an automated activation. However, even that part of the process can be done without an internet connection. Once the software is activated, it no longer needs to go through the internet uh, to verify that it's a valid license on each launch of the application. To understand how the activation process works, let's take a look at what's going on behind the activation dialog. When the user enters the serial number and submits it in the activation process, that serial number along with the request number, which is like the fingerprint of that computer, is being sent to the internet. It's being processed by an activation server, which determines whether or not it should grant an activation code for that specific serial number, and if so, using that request number returns the exact activation code that's required to activate the protected application on the computer. Now that we've seen how the activation process works, let's take a look at a couple tools that you can use to protect any Mac or Windows application. Quick License is used to configure how a license works and how the activation process occurs. That information that you define in Quick License is generated to a tiny encrypted ticket file that is then used with your application. You can apply the license to your application in one of two ways. Either you can write a few lines of code at the beginning of your application to call the Quick License runtime to make use of the ticket file, or you can take and wrap the license around your compiled application with the Add License tool. Either way, you get a protected version of your application that presents an activation process on first launch and thereafter protects your application. To learn more about protecting your Mac and Windows applications with Quick License, just go to ExcelSoftware.com and click on the License Management link. That'll take you to a page of information about Quick License, show you all the different kinds of licenses that you can apply to your application in various ways of activating your software automatically using either the Safe Activation Service or Web Activation hosted on your own website.